Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 4th through April 10th. What we have coming up for you on Monday is we have the Four of Clubs. The Four of Clubs is just talking about somebody coming into the nest. So this can be bringing a new baby home. <clears throat> Excuse me. This can be family coming together for a birthday or anniversary or confirmation or baptism or first communion celebration or whatever. Um, this can be somebody returning home from military duty. This can be somebody coming back from vacation. Um, generally, I see this card apply to the family, but sometimes it applies outside the family as well. This can be an old friend coming back around. This can be somebody that you used to work with coming back into the branch or location or back to the company that you that you work with. Um, so just somebody coming into the nest. And by the way, this could be you, Libra, coming into the nest. So that's what we have showing up for you guys on Monday. On Tuesday, what we have is the Six of Cups showing up in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse does mean that you are looking back at something and looking at the lessons that you could have learned from that and trying to pick up those lessons that you could have learned. This something that you're looking back at is not um, necessarily so such happy memories. So the lessons that you can learn have to do with how can you make sure you don't end up in a situation like that again? What can you do if you find yourself in that situation again? Those types of things. Now on Wednesday, what's showing up for you Libras is the King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse just means that <laughs> you are getting the huge and wonderful blessing of dealing with somebody who is angry and who is not afraid to express their emotions. Yay! So that's what I see coming in for you Wednesday. Somebody letting you know what they're angry about. They don't have to be angry at you. In fact, for a lot of you, I don't feel that they are. Um, but they are angry about something. <laughs> and um, you're pretty much sure to hear about it. In fact, what I'm hearing is you're sure to hear about it. So that's Wednesday. <clears throat> Thursday, what we have showing up is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords just talks about picking up the pieces of something. So this can be cleaning up after a dinner party, if you had a dinner party the night before, or maybe this could be like late night cleaning up after a dinner party too. Um, this can also be cleaning up after some kind of drama. Maybe somebody stirred up some stuff in your life with other people and you're kind of cleaning up the mess. Um, this can be also being kind of sneaky and trying to go behind somebody's back, Libras. Um, I'm not sure, for you Libras, you guys really like fairness so much, it's hard for me to imagine you being sneaky and going behind somebody's back, but that's kind of, honestly, that's kind of how it's coming through, that this is, this is you, if you're not picking up the pieces, you are being kind of sneaky going behind somebody's back, and to me it feels like, because you are so fairness oriented, that this is something that <clears throat> you feel like you're not really making anything unfair, you're not doing anything unjust, but you also don't want to confront the person that you're doing things behind their back and tell them, hey, you know, what you're doing is not fair, let's even this out. You don't really think that they would do that. So instead what you're doing is you're just evening it out yourself behind their back. Good luck with that. Some of you are going to get caught. Usually when I see this card, what it indicates is somebody trying to get away with something, but the other person that they're trying to get away with it with knows exactly what they're up to. So um, I would say <laughs> this is one of those things that this is some energy that you want to change with your free will because free will can influence anything. None of this has to come through if you want it to be different. You can use your free will to manipulate it and change it. But this is one of those cards that I would try to change if I was you. <laughs> it's never fun when somebody else knows what you're up to. And what makes it even more interesting is this other person isn't going to tell you they know what you're up to. They won't. They'll know what you're up to, but they won't let on. So it's not a it's not a good position to put yourself in to try to do something behind someone's back anyway. But then when you already know up front that they're going to know anyway... Why would you do that? Okay, so anyway, if that's you, <clears throat> be advised. If 
the other person will know about it. If it's just picking up the pieces, you know, of course it's aggravation to have to pick up pieces. I do feel like some of these pieces you're picking up are because of actions that other people did that sort of contributed on top of your own actions. Um, but I don't think that you ever intended for anything like this to come out that you would have to pick up pieces too. So anyway, um, yeah, let's move on. I think I've said everything I need to say there. That was Thursday. Friday, eight of coins showing up in reverse. This is a day off of work. So most of you Libras will be calling into work on Friday. Those of you who do go into work, you're not going to do diddly squat. Mm -mm. Nope. Just the bare minimum to get by whatever you have to. And that's about it. This is one of those days when you'd much rather call into work, lay on the couch, have your feet up, watch the TV, snooze in between shows. <laughs> one of those types of days. I just don't see a lot getting accomplished from you Libras on Friday, period. Of course, it's a general reading, so that's not going to apply to everybody, but most of you. Okay, Saturday, five of clubs showing up. Five of clubs is just telling me there's a lot of creative juices going on around you. This could be you and a bunch of people getting together and brainstorming about ways that you could improve a certain situation or certain things. This could be um, going to a city council meeting and trying to figure out new ways to handle road situations and traffic. Um, this could be a lot of different things. A lot of readers like to put fives as conflict. For some reason, I've never really seen the five of wands as that. I've just seen it as a lot of creativity coming together in one place. So kind of collaborative creativity or collaborative problem solving. So um, that's what I really see coming in for you guys for Saturday. All right, so Sunday, four of cups showing up here. Four of cups just tells me that <clears throat> You're having a pity party on Sunday. Another card that you can use free will to change. <laughs> the thing about a pity party is, first of all, it doesn't do you any good, although it feels very righteous, but it ser seriously doesn't do you any good, doesn't do anybody around you any good. And the second thing about a pity party is when you're so busy looking at the poor me side of the world, you kind of miss the good opportunities that are coming in. And who wants to miss the good opportunities that are coming in just to make ourselves feel miserable? Why would we do that? And yet we do. So many of us do that so much of the time, myself included. Why do we do that? That is the question of the day. All right, so Libras, that is your week. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everybody have a fantastic week. I will see you back here the next time. Peace out.